Well, hello everyone, my name is Prime, and welcome back to this episode of Prime News. And today, SEO Software officially released the 1.44 update for Euro Truck Simulator 2. The official changelog video that you're seeing on screen and the blog post I'll be referencing is linked down in the description below if you want to check those out. And I'll quickly mention that any owner of ETS2 should receive the update for free. You may have to restart your Steam client depending on what your update settings are. You may also have to do it manually. For the majority of users, the game will automatically update and if you were part of the 1.44 open beta once your game is updated you can opt out and you're all set what exactly is the change log for ets2 1.44 you may ask well let's get into it first off on the map side of things we have a decent amount here on ets2 we have the austria rework in a sense that's kind of the flagship of this 1.44 update when it comes to ets2 the austria rework looks absolutely amazing and it's really nice to have that area updated we have the new way unmarked roads are now marked on your map and how unknown roads or hidden passage roads are explored. Various distance signs that you'll see along the side of the road have been updated for an accurate mileage system within the game, i.e. if a sign says that it's a certain amount of kilometers or miles to a city, that is now accurate in ETS2. For those who have the Beyond the Baltic Sea DLC, some of the older border crossings have been reworked. There's been an update to Italian toll gates. Some of the in-game companies have had logo revisions. There are UI road numbers in Corsica and Sardinia. And and also some other map improvements just to make everything better. Onto the gameplay side of things, we have the mod refund feature. When selecting options on your truck or trailer, you'll now find license versus aftermarket badges in the UI. There's been a bit of a force feedback upgrade, the very unique introduction of adjustable suspension height, something that I am actually quite enjoying to play around with when I'm doing deliveries. Some may choose to use it, some may not. It's really up to you. Interior camera horizontal lock and smart sequential shifting. Finally, on the vehicle side of things, we have the new 2022 interior option for the Renault T, and the Renault T has also received some other reworked features as well. If you want the specific details on some of these features I just listed, check out some of my past Prime News videos here on ETS2, or check out my most recent ETS2 showcases. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.